Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick to align angled floor plans. You might come across this issue both interiors and exteriors, and it doesn't matter actually if it's architecture. This is a problem when you need to work on an exact reference and when you're building on a reference. And in this example, let's say this is our client's project and client sent this floor plan to us exactly as it is just because they were working with or exporting with north direction in mind so this is what we got and you need to do something about it because you can't work on this as it is or you can't tell your client to send you a perfect straight floor plan if this is what you got this is what you have to work on and in this example actually this is just a floor plan i found online and even if this was perfect straight it's a problem if I try to work on this area. So this is a problem and I'm going to show you how you can easily fix it. I think I don't need to show what kind of problem you might come across if you try to work on angled floor plans or angled reference images. But just to give you an example, you know in my previous tutorial I show how you can scale a floor plan and it's just something super simple. You just draw a box because kitchen we might guess it's dimension 60 by 60 and we can scale this floor plan until the kitchen cabinet fit our 60 by 60 box but in this case as you can see the box i drew here is perfectly straight and aligns towards x and y axis and this floor plan is not so i can even actually easily scale this floor plan according to my box and Another thing that you can do, like let's say here I will draw a simple spline to represent my walls. And let's say I have something like this and I need to snap it here. So they both in the same line. If this was like this, as you can see, it's a trouble to snap it in the same line. So, what can we do to fix it? First thing we need to do is to find the longest line that we can see on this floor plan. Because the longer the reference line, the more accurate rotation will be. So, I'm going to use this line here, going all the way, without any interruption or angle change. It's just a continuous line going all the way and I believe this is the longest line I can find. Now this is pretty easy. Only thing I need to do is here I will draw a line and I will go all the way up here and I think this spline follows the floor plan pretty good. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give an extrude modifier here let's say 300 and just in case I'm gonna put a shell because what we are going to do now relies on normals and sometimes smoothing groups or back faces might cause a trouble so I'm going to give a shell and that should be enough and now I'm gonna go top view here is my reference line and the spline I drew on top. I'm gonna put red color for this. Okay, it's visible. Then, now I'm gonna put a box here. It doesn't matter, dimension is not important. Only thing we need to do is, and let's give green or something else to this. Yeah, green is fine. And only thing I need to do is here, align the normals here. It's pretty simple. It goes like this, you select the object, and you select the face, that's it. But as you can see, obviously, floor plan didn't follow. And now I'm gonna show how we can do it. Again, it's pretty simple. Only thing you need to do is select your floor plan. Here, you can click select and link. Drag and drop like this. Now, if I move this reference object anywhere, in any axis my floor plan will follow and now only thing I need to do is 
select this object because I know my floor plan will follow. I will select this object. I will click here. Usually this is align tool. Probably it will look like this. If you press and hold, you will see normal align. And also the shortcut is Alt N. When you have your parent object selected, only thing you need to do is align this red box, your parent object, this face to this face. And that's it. And now I will select it and I will either click this normal align button or press Alt N on my keyboard and select this face and click this face. And I will say, okay, I don't need these objects anymore. And because the way normal align works, it goes to the exact point that I click on the box and it's fixable, but you don't need to work hard to do it. Only thing you need to do is just come here, right click and it goes to zero. And now you can see that my floor plan is perfectly straight. And if I start modeling my walls, let's start here and all the way up here, it will follow. That's it. Let's do it one more time. Let's say I'm gonna go for this kitchen first. I'm gonna model the kitchen first or I'm gonna use the kitchen to scale my floor plan. By the way, in this case, you don't need to use the kitchen as a reference because we have a lot of dimension lines on our floor plan. So we can easily use any of them as a reference. And again, the longer the dimension line, the more accurate your scale or rotation will be. So we can pick this line here in this case and scale it accordingly. But just to practice, let's do it one more time. I'm gonna find this line here. And I'm gonna draw a spline on top. Like this, that's it. I'll come here, extrude 300, and I'm gonna put a shell modifier on top. And now I can see, it looks like this, top view, it's angled. Now I'm gonna place a box here. Now again, only thing I need to do is select my floor plan, select and link, drag and drop. It's linked now. If I move here, you see it follows. Now I will select my green box or this reference object or parent object. I will click normal align. I will select the face I want to align and then I will select the face that I want it to be aligned like this and that's it and now I can put a 60 by 60 box here I can put it in this corner and the pivot here and I will start scaling like this and I will delete this reference box and now I will know that my floor plan is on correct scale anyways that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video and learned something from it please give a thumbs up if you want to see more time saving tips like this please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or requests please leave a comment and I will do my best to reply Thank you for watching and have fun modeling.